It came to me by my father, but of course it came from my grandfather who went over to America and went to the Rocky Mountains and he was mining coal there for three years and listening to the guys singing songs from around the campfire at night. And he said this song, of all the songs he heard, made big strong guys cry like babies when they were singing it. It must have meant an awful lot to him. I think that memory of these guys who never expected to see their homeland again, to see their family again. Others there obviously were going to go home, like it was my grandfather's intention to go home, but they weren't going home. And they were longing desperately for family, friends, homeland, even the, even the little cottage that they had lived in all that time ago, yes. It's, it's tough stuff. I think it was this, this one was about emigration. They, they would have sung so many different things around that campfire. I mean, it's a bit like my father. My father loved singing. As he was going around the work here on Caro Garo, he'd be singing. He might be singing old Sankey hymns, or he might be singing Paddy McGinty's Goat. But the one he sang most consistently all his life was this one, because it obviously struck a great, a deep chord with him, the pain that was associated with emigration and longing for home. My mother, she stood on the Liverpool dock with a handkerchief over her eyes. And when the ship sailed out of the dock, it was then she began to cry. You're going to a land far away, my dear boy, and leaving your mother behind you. And when you return to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home. There'll be no one to welcome you home, my dear boy. There'll be no one to welcome you home. And when you return to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home. There's a dear little cot, and it stands on the hill, in my homeland far over the sea. This dear little cot, it stands all alone, and it sheltered my mother and me. But now just a stranger, I live far away, far away from those friends and my home. And if I return to the land of my birth, There'll be no one to welcome me home. In thought I have often wandered alone, alone near that house of my birth. How little I cared on the day I set sail and left all my friends there at home. But now I'm alone, I recall what she said. There'll be no one to welcome you home. And when you return to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home. The years hurried by, the emigrants died, so few would return to their isle. But they talked and they sang of their home or the sea, with many a tear and a smile. Their children remembered those stories of home in lands all over the earth. But should they return to the land of their birth, they may find themselves standing alone. There'll be no one to welcome you home, my dear boy. There'll be no one to welcome you home. And when you return, to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home.